Good day. Uh, problem for today is all about ejector pump. Motor problem. Turn off. And then, this is the panel. And that is the main contactor for that specific ejector motor. First, as usual, need to check check the low insulation for this motor using IR tester okay remove the T1, T2, T3 line 1, line 2, line 3 or RST and then and, and then in this video I will teach you how to check the nameplate so that you can order the correct nameplate when the motor arrives okay. I will share to you the basic important parameters that you need to know about nameplates and connections okay let's start to check IR T1 okay 20 20 ohms T2 T3 20 20 then. okay the result is grounded as you can see the wire or winding of the motor we, we need to zoom in it is burnt no further investigation and then we need to renew this motor uh, the one that i'm holding is thermistor but not in use and this is the white one for the space heater 2ht1 and 2ht2 that is for the space heater for that motor and then yellow blue and red that is for the rst or line 1 line 2 line 3 this is the original plate of our motor that we need to order first check the duty duty s1 s1 is for continuous operation and then next voltage sample voltage to 20 to 480 our motor capable for 220 until 480 volts this depends upon the connection example if you connect delta to 20 at 50 hertz but if you connect star 380 at 50 hertz and then next for our our motor we need to connect y and then for 40 60 hertz okay that's it that's that is our connection we have received new motor different maker but the same specifications three phase okay you can connect y or delta also there is a thermistor included but we don't use that one okay there is the instruction for connections terminal connection that is for the y then that below is the delta then connect the terminal links first step we check the motor how to check the motor you need to check insulation resistance before installing this motor okay you know the drill connect to the body zero zero and then check as uh, check individual lines line windings okay 550 mega ohms and then 550 mega ohms it's good our new motor is good then we need to connect as per connection this is the name plate that we receive there is typo error that is for six uh, 440 connection y uh, the connection is Y at 60 Hertz okay and it's because that voltage below is 460 as per maker there is an email that that is 440 and the duty of this duty of this motor is S1 that is continuous because S2 is short time S3 is intermittent okay that is the uh, nameplate and then we need to connect the terminals at the top U uh, W U V2 and V2 okay you need to connect at the top the three 
terminals at the top that is the connection for y y connection y or star but if this is vertical like that that is delta that is delta connection if you connect the three terminals at the top that is the y connection it's because if you connect delta that is 220 and then if you connect y delta that is 440 Okay, we remove the old one and then we connect this one. That's it. And then we connect this line one, line two, line three. That is the very important part. At the bottom, we connect line one, line two, line three. This is the final connection. Y connection at 440 at 60 hertz. And there is no space heater for this motor and then the company knows that okay that's it i hope you learn from it and please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates thank you very much